Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Truck and Freight Site Analysis Public Meeting for Seminole County. My name is Mark Trevitz, and I am the Project Manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. We thank you all for being here today to discuss a matter that is important not only to our community, but those who help maintain our livelihood through delivered goods, truck drivers. Just like any motorist, driving can become a tiresome task that requires constant attention to remain safe. The difference between the average motorist and a truck driver is that while many are headed home to rest in their bed, it's likely that a truck driver is looking for a good parking spot to rest in their truck. The problem, however, is that truck parking is limited. What we are presenting to you tonight are various locations where parking spaces for trucks can be added throughout Central Florida. Within the past few months, we have researched dozens of areas. We've also heard past concerns from the community, so we've been sure to keep in mind how important it is to balance the community impacts of these new locations and the benefit for truck drivers. We're here today to seek your feedback about the preferred site locations and preliminary concepts and learn of any additional details or suggestions you may have. We'll now go over the main presentation. And following the presentation, please join us around the room to discuss the project with staff members or answer questions. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Thank you. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367 or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850 850- 414-4753 or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This public meeting was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register, on FDOT's public notices website, in the local newspaper, and on the project webpage. In addition, adjacent property owners, interested individuals, and elected and appointed officials and government agencies were also notified about this public meeting. The environmental review, consultation, and other actions required by applicable federal documents for this project are being or have been carried out by FDOT pursuant to 23 United States Code Section 327 and a Memorandum of Understanding dated December 14, 2016 and executed by the Federal Highway Administration and FDOT. A Project Development and Environment Study, or PD&E study, determines the location and conceptual design of the preferred improvements and the associated social, economic, and environmental effects of the improvements. A PD&E study has three main components. An engineering analysis, which includes defining and evaluating alternatives, including a no-build alternative. Environmental evaluations, which evaluate potential impacts to the social, cultural, and physical environments and a public involvement component to inform and involve all interested parties in the development of the planned transportation project and to seek public input. This process is mandated by the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, and Florida law. It represents a combined effort by technical professionals who analyze information and document the best alternative for a community's transportation needs. The Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, welcomes you to the public information meeting for the Truck and Freight Alternative Site Analysis PD&E study. The study is being conducted to support freight movement along Interstate 4, also known as I-4, within District 5, which spans Osceola, Orange, Seminole, and Volusia counties. The financial project ID number is 4477241. Within this meeting, we will discuss the need for truck parking within District 5, summarize the evaluation of initial sites, identify the preferred site locations and concepts, and present recommended viable alternatives for further study. 
Your feedback and thoughts are important to the success of this project. As the number of people and the amount of goods continue to increase in Florida, freight traffic continues to be an essential part of our state's growth and economy. Many of us forget the vital role truck drivers play in our daily life, from our morning coffee to our favorite pair of shoes. Without them, our stores would not be able to supply the needs for our families. Truck drivers are essential, and a safe and efficient environment to do their jobs helps both us and them. The trucking industry is indispensable to the American economy. Apart from many other roles and responsibilities, truck drivers are responsible for delivering raw materials to where they will be manufactured and finished products to where they will be sold. Businesses both big and small depend on truck drivers to safely transport their items across the nation while maintaining efficient delivery times. According to Trucker Path, 40% of truck drivers spend over an hour searching for a place to park. This equates to a $5.1 billion loss in revenue annually, including wasted fuel, time lost, maintenance, and associated crashes. This is important to the department as our mission is to provide a safe transportation system that ensures the mobility of people and goods, enhances economic prosperity, and preserves the quality of our environment and communities. Florida has experienced tremendous growth in people and goods over the last few decades and continued growth is expected. In 2018, FDOT conducted a statewide truck parking study to assess existing truck parking and future demand. The study found the I-4 corridor is the most critical corridor in the state, specifically between the Osceola Polk County line and Interstate 95, also known as I-95. Based on that study, the I-4 corridor within FDOT District 5 was found to need 481 truck parking spaces today. However, there are currently only 36 truck parking spaces available throughout the corridor and are located at the Longwood Truck Parking Facility. The demand is anticipated to grow with the continued growth of population and as more facilities like the Amazon Fulfillment Center in Volusia County, the Northport Industrial Park in Seminole County, the Infinity Park in Orange County, and Jeldwen in Osceola County continue to be developed to better serve the region's population. Future parking demand is projected to grow to 750 spaces by 2025 and to 883 spaces by 2040. This is why the region must work together to support our trucking industry and find ways to contribute to a solution. The purpose for this PD&E study is to identify, evaluate, and recommend viable candidate truck parking sites near the I-4 corridor in Osceola, Orange, Seminole, and Volusia counties. The study corridor spans a total length of 75 miles across these four counties. We will now review the alternative sites identified for this study and the alternative analysis process. The study began by defining primary site selection criteria to identify potential parcels to be further analyzed. Examples of criteria utilized during this primary evaluation included land use to ensure truck parking is in accordance with permitted future land use designation, zoning to ensure truck parking is in accordance with permitted zoning designations, site area to ensure the parcel or potentially combined parcels provide the desired 8 to 20 acres needed to provide truck parking, proximity to I-4 within one half mile to one mile of I-4 to provide parking within a reasonable distance to major truck routes and access to provide trucks direct and easy access to the parking site. This criteria was used as a starting point and was expanded based on availability of qualifying sites. Additional consideration was given to public-owned properties industrial clusters, and access to connected major highways. In support of the primary selection criteria, local agency input was also used to help identify additional sites. Utilizing the site selection criteria, the study team narrowed the search to 11 potential sites across the four counties. Two potential sites were identified within Osceola County, seven potential sites within Orange County, one potential site within Seminole County, and one potential site within Volusia County. Each of the 11 sites were then evaluated for comparison based on the ability to meet the purpose and need, anticipated community and environmental impacts, and estimated costs. The goal of the study is to identify at least one viable site in each county to serve existing and future I-4 truck parking needs in the vicinity of the high freight demand areas. The no-build alternative remains a viable option throughout the pd and &E study. The viable alternatives identified during the study will be prioritized and recommended for future project development. As a result of the comparative analysis, six preferred sites are recommended for further study. 
It is anticipated that each site will be further evaluated in a subsequent design phase individually as funding is identified. The following slides describe the alternative evaluation of the 11 initial sites and the preferred site location and concept recommended for further evaluation. We will now review the results of the evaluation for potential truck parking sites to support the I-4 corridor for each county, beginning with Osceola County. Two potential truck parking sites have been identified within Osceola County. Both sites are located along Osceola Polk Line Road near US 1792. The two sites are near existing freight facilities, shown in yellow, making these locations desirable for truck parking. These sites are also adjacent to the proposed Poinciana Parkway extension that plans to start construction this year to extend to Osceola Polk Line Road. A PD&E study is currently being conducted for the further connection from Osceola Polk Line Road to the I-4 State Road 429 interchange. The results of the evaluation for the two sites within Osceola County are presented in the evaluation matrix. Both sites meet the purpose and need, with Site 1 offering the ability to provide 257 potential parking spots over the 71 potential parking spots with Site 2. Additionally, there are two utility easements located on Site 2, limiting site layout and ability to maximize truck parking access, amenities, and spaces. The potential environmental impacts are similar between the two alternatives. For these reasons, Site 1 is the recommended site for Osceola County. This is a graphical representation of the truck parking site at Osceola County Site 1. The overall site size is 43 acres and would provide approximately 257 truck parking spaces. This site would be bordered by the Poinciana Parkway Extension, Osceola Polk Line Road, and US 1792, providing access to I-4 as well as other high freight corridors. This site may also be suitable for a public-private partnership. The site location will serve I-4 as well as other regional freight facilities. The first phase of the Poinciana Parkway extension will connect to Osceola Polk Line Road. During this time, access to and from I-4, which is located 3.87 miles to the west, will be via Osceola Polk Line Road. It should be noted, Osceola Polk Line Road will be widened from two to four lanes with construction funding in fiscal year 2023-2024. The second phase of the Poinciana Parkway extension, which is currently in PD&E, plans to include a connection north to the State Road 429 and I-4 interchange. This will allow another access point to I-4, State Road 429, and Poinciana Parkway. Ingress-egress at the site is anticipated via one full access entrance to Osceola Polk Line Road. The site is anticipated to generate 106 trips during the adjacent street weekday p.m. peak period between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. No significant environmental impacts are anticipated. The preliminary concept involves no relocations or floodplain involvement. If this site advances to a future design phase, the site plan will be further refined and evaluated to minimize wetland impacts, avoid wildlife habitat, reduce costs, and avoid and minimize overall environmental effects. Continuing north with the results of the evaluation for potential truck parking sites to support the I-4 corridor within Orange County. The seven potential sites identified within Orange County are located between three to eight miles east of the I-4 corridor. One potential site is located at the John Young Parkway and Sand Lake Road intersection. Three potential sites are located along Land Street Road, and three potential sites are located along Taft Vineland Road. As represented on the map in yellow shading, the potential sites are near existing freight facilities, making these locations desirable for truck parking. The results of the evaluation for the seven sites within Orange County are presented in the evaluation matrix. All seven sites meet the purpose and need for the study. The potential community and environmental impacts are similar between the seven alternatives. Sites 5, 6, and 7 were found to be located in planned developments, limiting potential use for truck parking sites. Site 3 requires further evaluation and coordination with state agencies before moving it forward. The recommended sites in Orange County are Site 1, 2, and 4. Site 1 is owned by the Florida's Turnpike Enterprise, eliminating the need for right-of-way acquisition. Site 1 is also within a heavy industrialized area, with many land uses relying on freight traffic. Site 2 is an ideal site for public-private partnership and is also within a heavy industrialized area. Site 4, while further from the I-4 corridor, is a viable site with high truck parking demand having the opportunity to support overflow from Sites 1 and 2. 
For these reasons, Sites 1, 2, and 4 are the recommended sites for Orange County. Site Location 1, 2, and 4 provide regional connectivity to I-4, Florida's Turnpike, and State Road 528. The key to recommending these sites are also their location within a heavy industrial cluster, which serves as the origin and destination for much of the truck traffic on these facilities. Currently, truck drivers are having difficulties finding spots within this area and are resorting to parking on the side of local roads. These three facilities would accommodate that demand as well as provide the potential for extended use for people who live in the area. This is a graphical representation of the truck parking site at Orange County Site 1. The overall site size is 36.7 acres and would provide approximately 109 truck parking spaces. This site is located at the Florida's Turnpike planned off-ramp to Sand Lake Road. The site will provide opportunity for access to trucks on both I-4 and the Florida's Turnpike. A design project is currently underway for an interchange for the Florida's Turnpike with Sand Lake Road in the southeast quadrant of the proposed site. Upon completion of this improvement, additional access will be provided to the Florida's Turnpike, which connects north to I-4 and south to State Road 528. Aesthetic pleasing vegetative landscaping would be included around the site to buffer the site from the commercial development without parcels on the south side of Sand Lake Road. No significant environmental impacts are anticipated. The preliminary concept involves no right-of-way impacts or relocations. If this site advances to a future design phase, the site plan will be further refined and evaluated to minimize wetland and floodplain involvement, avoid wildlife habitat, reduce costs, and avoid and minimize overall environmental effects. This is a graphical representation of the truck parking site at Orange County Site 2. The overall site size is 6.8 acres and would provide approximately 59 truck parking spaces. This site is located along West Land Street, east of US 441 and adjacent to State Road 528. This site provides an ideal opportunity for a public-private partnership to operate and maintain the parking facility. No significant environmental impacts are anticipated. The preliminary concept involves no relocations or wetland and floodplain involvement. If the site advances to a future design phase, the site plan will be further refined and evaluated to reduce costs and avoid and minimize overall environmental effects. This is a graphical representation of the truck parking site at Orange County Site 4. The overall site size is 4.9 acres and would provide approximately 48 truck parking spaces. This site is located along West Land Street Road, just west of Trustway Boulevard. This site would provide truck parking only and would not have restroom facilities. The opportunity to develop this site will help to address parking capacity issues in the area and provide a safe and secure location for short and long-term parking. No significant environmental impacts are anticipated. The preliminary concept involves one business relocation and no residential relocations. If this site advances to a future design phase, the site plan will be further refined and evaluated to minimize floodplain involvement, avoid wildlife habitat, reduce costs, and avoid and minimize overall environmental effects. Continuing north, we will now review the results of the evaluation for potential truck parking sites to support the I-4 corridor identified within Seminole County. One potential site has been identified within Seminole County. It is located near I-4 and surrounded by several freight facilities as depicted in yellow shading on the map. For evaluation purposes, the site was analyzed with option 1A involving 219 truck parking spaces or option 1B involving 157 truck parking spaces and fewer parcels. The results of the analysis are shown in this evaluation matrix. Overall, both sites meet the purpose and need for the study and have similar natural, cultural, and physical impacts. The socioeconomic impacts for option 1A are much higher due to increased right-of-way needs. Additionally, the construction and right-of-way costs are significantly lower for option 1B. This is a graphical representation of the truck parking site at Seminole County Site 1B. The overall site size is 18.3 acres and would provide approximately 157 truck parking spaces. This site is located just east of the I-4 Beyond the Ultimate, also known as BTU, improvement at US 1792, which is expected to provide efficient access to I-4 through a reconfigured ramp adjacent to the site. Access to the site from I-4 will be provided via the State Road 46 or US 1792 interchange. A controlled access on School Street will require vehicles exiting the site to go east towards US 1792 
and south towards State Road 46 to access I-4. This will alleviate trucks from traveling south on Elder Road. The site is anticipated to generate 70 trips during the adjacent roadway's weekday p.m. peak period between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Once the I-4 beyond the ultimate improvement is constructed, a connection to I-4 both to and from the site will be accommodated through the reconfigured US-1792 interchange just north of the site. A controlled access on School Street will continue to require vehicles to exit towards US-1792, and the US-1792 at School Street intersection will be signalized. No significant environmental impacts are anticipated. If this site advances to a future design phase, the site plan will be further refined and evaluated to minimize wetland involvement, avoid wildlife habitat, reduce costs, and avoid and minimize overall environmental effects. Concluding with Volusia County, we will now review the results of the evaluation for a potential truck parking site to support the I-4 corridor identified within Volusia County. One potential site has been identified within Volusia County. It is located on the I-4 corridor approximately 4.8 miles west of I-95. One site was identified and evaluated within Volusia County. The results of the evaluation are shown in the evaluation matrix. The site meets the purpose and need for the study. The available land is publicly owned and would provide the opportunity for a large parking facility to provide approximately 528 truck parking spaces in total. The site would be split into two, providing a truck parking site for both the eastbound and westbound directions of travel on I-4. The direct access to the truck parking site limits the truck traffic on local roadway networks. For these reasons, Site 1 is the recommended site for Volusia County. This is a graphical representation of the truck parking site at Volusia County Site 1 for the I-4 eastbound direction. The eastbound site size is 120 acres and would provide approximately 275 truck parking spaces. This site provides an opportunity to develop a larger truck parking facility with direct access to and from I-4 in the eastbound direction, allowing truck traffic to avoid the local road network. The site will include several features to minimize impacts to adjacent wildlife crossing. This is a graphical representation of the truck parking site at Volusia County Site 1 for the I-4 westbound direction. The westbound site size is 120 acres and would provide approximately 253 truck parking spaces. Like the eastbound direction site, this site provides direct access to and from I-4 in the westbound direction, allowing truck traffic to avoid the local road network and will also include several features to minimize impacts to adjacent wildlife crossing. For reference, here is the placement of the eastbound and westbound sites with direct access to I-4. The site is anticipated to generate 168 trips in the eastbound direction and 156 trips in the westbound direction during the adjacent roadway's weekday p.m. peak period between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. No significant environmental impacts are anticipated. The preliminary concept involves no relocations. Similar to the east side, no significant environmental impacts are anticipated. The preliminary concept involves no relocations. If this site advances to a future design phase, the site plan will be further refined and evaluated to minimize wetland and floodplain involvement, avoid wildlife habitat, reduce costs, and avoid and minimize overall environmental effects. Several site features will be considered along with the design of each truck parking site. The truck parking sites will include eco-friendly features like electrification and solar technologies to reduce emissions. Safety features will also be provided such as surveillance cameras, lighting, and 24-hour security staff to keep these drivers safe. Additional technology will include features to help identify where parking spaces are available. Truck parking availability sensors detect and communicate available spots to truck drivers via apps or signage, which in turn saves time, reduces emissions, and improves safety. In summary, the preferred sites are expected to provide a maximum of 1,194 total truck parking spaces. The truck parking demand is projected at 883 spaces by 2040. The total potential truck parking spaces allow for anticipated design changes and optimization of sites as we move through the design process. This achieves the purpose and need of the study to recommend viable candidate truck parking sites across the I-4 corridor within District 5. Now that we have reviewed the preferred truck parking sites and concepts for the study, let's review the next steps of the PD&E study process and how you can get involved.
This PD&E study began in April 2021 and is expected to be completed in late 2022. Community feedback is essential in helping us choose the best locations for potential parking sites. Public engagement began with local agency coordination in December 2021 and the first round of public information meetings held in March and April of 2022 and will continue throughout the study process. The study will conclude once the preferred sites are identified based on public and agency input and preliminary engineering and environmental analyses are documented for the preferred site parking concepts. The study is anticipated to complete in September 2022. Four meetings are being held during this second round of public information meetings, one for each county. The information being shown here tonight is the same for each county. The purpose of this second round of meetings is to gather your input about the preferred sites and location concepts and collect any other comments you may have. Following the PD&E study, each site determined as preferred will follow the typical life cycle path of design, right-of-way, and construction phases. Currently, there is available funding for one potential site for design in fiscal year 2022, right-of-way in fiscal year 2024-2025, and construction in fiscal year 2026. This PD&E study will determine the recommended site that will utilize FPID number 446445-1 and allocate funding to additional preferred sites as funding becomes available. It should be noted design funding is also programmed for one additional site in fiscal year 2024. To follow the status of the project, please visit the project page on the FDOT's Central Florida website www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 447724-1 in the search box at the top right corner of the page, then click Go. The recording of this presentation and all materials shown here tonight are currently available on the website. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by 10 days after this public meeting will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447724-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at mark.trebitz at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5157 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, Thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them within 10 days. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting will be posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447724-1. Thank you again, and remember that safety is everyone's responsibility. Have a good evening.